All right. Excellent. Let's dive in. So out of the gates, the gut-brain connection. The gut is often referred to as the body's second brain. So the microbes in the gut, there's this two-lane highway, right? It's called bi-directional input from the brain inflammation in the brain to the gut. And the gut inflammation can make its way out of the gut in and go, it, go to the brain. And so you have this bi-directional communication. So the more stress and inflammation we have in the gut, that can activate the brain, especially the microglial cells. These are the immune cells, the white blood cells of the brain. When they become overactive, they are again, they're trying to gobble up inflammation. And as a result, that can cause brain fog. So just the overactive kind of connection between the gut and then making its way in that bi-directional capacity impacting the brain. Of course, inflammation, right? We talked about the gut-brain connection. But number two is the inflammation is partly what's driving some of that. And so inflammation will be the next one. Again, candida is naturally going to be inflammatory. It's going to drive leaky gut. It's going to increase undigested foods and bacteria and, and candida itself getting into the bloodstream. And that's going to overactivate the immune system. Again, the more inflammation we cause, the more problems we're going to see in the brain, right? Inflammation in the brain activates the microglial. The more activation there, the more we're going to see problems with brain fog and cognitive function. Uh, next is going to be toxin production. What's up with toxins? So we have acetaldehyde, acetaldehyde for short. That's a metabolite of candida. You also get that with alcohol. When you consume alcohol, your body converts alcohol to acetaldehyde. That's actually the stronger kind of metabolite that your liver has to deal with. But you're going to have acetaldehyde as a byproduct of candida. And that's part of the reason why, like if you have a lot of yeast overgrowth, there's something known as auto brewery syndrome, where you actually have fermentation in the gut spits out acid aldehyde as a result of the fermentation. And so there have been people that have been pulled over by police that have taken a breathalyzer, blown, you know, higher than a 0 0.08, where they're legally drunk, but ate nothing or drank nothing because it's actually the fermentation of their gut, which is pretty wild. So acid aldehyde is a big deal because it can create confusion, it can create fatigue, it can create brain fog. It's a stressor on the liver. It's part of the reason why your blood sugar drops when you consume alcohol is because your, your liver is too busy processing the alcohol versus managing blood sugar levels. And so that toxin acid aldehyde can also impact blood sugar as well. Uh, nutrient deficiencies. Next one, of course, candida will impact B vitamins. It will impact uh, a lot of mineral absorption. Again, anytime you have gut inflammation, it's going to impact your body's ability to break down protein, break down fat-soluble vitamins, A, D, E, and K, uh, 